today we're going to be tying a peanut fly. Start off, wrap your thread on. We're going to be using the gold flash boo and blue flash boo. I like to start by taking a clump that size and measuring it on the hook so it's about anywhere from a quarter inch to a half inch past the back. So right there. And then grab it back here. Just take out any of the small strands. Lay it down. Take one, two loose wraps. Try and move it around. And just secure that. And this time, I may take a larger clump to fill it out. If I have too much, take a little bit out. That's good. Measure it, pinch it. And cut. One, two, and then just take your thumb and push down on that. And that'll go under the hook and it'll surround the shank. And then just tie that off. In doing that, you will make it longer, but at the end, you can cut that off. Now this might be the last blue that I would put on this fly. As you go on, it gets harder and harder to see exactly where it ends. And another thing you can do is take your two loose wraps now. And then pull it long. Pull the flash long. And just cut it. Make sure it's out of the eye. And 
And then if the thumb trick's not working, just use your fingers. That works too. That just all came apart on me, so retry. I'm not a big fan of cutting it while it, or tying it down when it's still attached to the all the rest of it. So I like to measure it at the back of the eye. I'll pinch there with my pointer finger and my thumb. And then I'll just cut close to that pinch. And I can look around and see right there. There's not a lot of flash. So since it's in a direct spot, I'm just going to tie that down. The thread I'm using today is just some ultra thread that I got in a tying kit from Bass Pro. And if you see some flash in the eye, go ahead and take your scissors and just cut that away. So it's just it's gonna become more of a pain later on. Now that's the base layer. Now Take your gold flash, and you can use any colors that you want for this, but for this particular flash, I want to use gold and blue. So I may make the gold a little shorter, so it's more of like a coat. And then this is when I would wrap it around like that, where I just push it on. And then take my one, two loose wraps. Cut it. And now I can go back and mash it all down so that it surrounds so it's surrounding the blue like an overcoat if you will and then it's blocking the eye so I'll just pull this back So it's not blocking the eye is bad. Now I'll tie it all off. You basically just have to get a feel of how big you want your clumps. If I'm just doing a touch up, I'll use a little bit. If I'm putting a new layer on, I'll put a lot. I'll use a larger clump. And then also what you can do is take your thread, take your flash, double it over your thread, and then just pull it so that it's the length you want. Which 
check it. Too short. So I'll just put it back on. And I can pull it until it's just right. Now, take my scissors and cut. Hold it at the start where your thread is, pull it back. So that's where you get all the fibers. And then just wrap it on. I'm not going to try and move this around since it's spot. Since I'm trying to fill up the spot. Yeah. And then I may just take a little bit. and cover the top with it. Now there's a lot of long strands. Just change clumps. Just find a different area where they're all about the same length. It'll make tying it'll make cleaning it up a lot easier. And you won't waste as much flash. You also have to use as large of clumps when you double it over because it's twice as much that goes on. Cut that off. Tie it on. Now what I may do is Come back with another another layer of the blue, or put some purple in. Purple, or I've done red, but the purple just looks really good. Plus, it's a known color that works and all of this fly is meant for trolling for salmon specifically coho on Lake Michigan since I don't have that much left it's harder to grab it what I may do now is come onto this side and then just pull it like that. And then this entire thing will just be coated in purple. this one two and since that's where I want it I'm actually going to leave that for now and push down 
just squirt it all around. The one thing that you don't want to do is pull it, sh pull the flesh, unless you have a grip where it's tight in. Because otherwise, that's going to happen. It'll just fall out and become a really big mess, which flesh always does. Since my knot, since the two loops came undone, I may put three in this time. Hold it here, and then gently pull back. Put a little bit more actually. Last of my purple flesh. And that time I put three in just to make sure that it's not going to come undone. Take your bodkin and make sure that it's all going where you want it. Pick it out if you have to. See, because right now it's really heavy on my side. And not so much over here. So I may just try and spin the flesh. Let's see how that thread slid back to where I don't want it. So now what I'll do is I'll just start wrapping it here now. Pull it forward. Pinch. And then just come back. You don't want to go too far back or too close to the barbs because um, that'll end up pinching down the fly, all the flesh. Edge, tiny bit of blue, and then this fly is going to be done. Just add some blue. Right on top. There. Pinch that. Then you can hold it in your non tying hand and just put it, place it onto the sh hook shank and then cover it up. And tie it on so this way you know that it's not going to be too far back or too far forward and then with all that flash right there I'll just pull that right back and tie it all out. tie it all down See how that's all puffed out? If I were to take my thread and make a wrap, some wraps back here, it wouldn't puff out as much. So I just like them puffed, puffed out a little bit more. So just finish this off. So I had some wraps come undone. I'll just rewrap it. And 
Let's finish off with some half hitches. Three should be fine because then I like to coat the entire head in fly head cement. What I'll do is take my bodkin, get a little, get some drops of the glue on here, on the bodkin, and then just spread it around. Now if I was tying a bass fly, like a woolly bugger, I wouldn't spread it around. I would just put it drop where the knot is. But for this, since I'm planning on using this not for not as not with a fly rod, but trolling, I try to make sure that this and that it holds up. So make sure you get the bottom. And this fly is done. So it's cleaning it up. So take your thread. And then if you don't have a close knot, you can use your scissors to pull the half hitches closer to the body of the fly. Just cut that off. Pull it out. So there's what it looks like after you're done tying and it comes out of the vise. And for example, here's actually there. Here's what it'll look like when it's all said and done. This was actually a bad fly that I tied. I messed up the head a lot. So here's one of the better ones that I've tied. Nice head. It's puffed out, covering the barbs, or covering the hook points. It's not too far back. This. What I'll do, just find a point and just start cutting. And we and I measured this so that I wouldn't have as much excess. Because if I didn't measure it, it could be out to here. So And then if you have the stragglers out there, just cut them. See if they can pull back. If they can't, just get rid of them. They may provide action in the water, but I just don't like the way it looks. So, what I also do is now I'll take my bodkin and clean it, clean the thread so I can see what it's going to look like. And I don't clean the thread, clean the um, hooks, the hook points. Just get it all away from them, get it all away from the hook points. I like to look through the back. And if you can see it right right over here, you actually see it good from right there too. It's all this stuff's this flesh on it's on this side of the bar hook. Pull it on this side and it forms better. Same with right there. I can see it from right there. Right, on, right along the bottom. Take my bodkin and just pull it off. If I see any more twists or anything, just 
pull them all. Now I can also cut away some more of the flesh, a few strands that are sticking out. Because I try to keep the flies as clean as possible. Because it's also going to be those strands then that are long. And then, last step, clean that, clean the eye. Just stick your scissors through and just cut. Now, if you can force it through to the other side, you can come along the top of the eye and It's also handy to have a razor blade around because then those little uh, pieces in there, I can come in here with the razor blade and just cut them away or at least force them to the other side to where I can use my scissors again and just cut them and that's what I was saying earlier that it helps if you don't get that flash in the eye because it becomes a pain later on and see like right now I got some of my wraps coming undone because I cut them now that actually helps me because I can open up the eye now with the scissors stick my scissors through closed I'll just push down Oh, try and open them at the same time because that will push that thread back opening up the eye more so that you can get in here and clean it out See this? I'm just gonna cut that away. It's on. It's a bottom thread, so it doesn't make that big of a difference. If it's there or not because of all the other wraps on top of it. But if it were say a top thread, then I would be worrying because I would have to go back and make one wrap back and forth and just um, knot it off and such just so it didn't come undone and that is done see it's like that now it's starting to get to a top thread so what I may do is just put more head cement on, just to make sure it doesn't come undone. And now I can get at more, I will. I'll just cut it. That's probably going to be the best that I can get it actually. So, there is the fly. And this actually isn't my best one that I've tied. I probably put too many layers on this one. So, 
here's one of my better ones where it's small compact if anything I could have added more threat or more flesh to this one is what I'm trying to get at for the end product are flies like this. Now this fly was tied by Sig Riggs, a great fly company, fly tying company. They do Lake Michigan flies like this and they also do longer flies like that. If you, like, if you live in the Chicagoland area and you like trolling for salmon on uh, Lake Michigan Call them up. They're good guys. Thanks.